Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to the city of Edinburgh and this is the view from my windows I just moved last week and I'm just starting my PhD so I'm not sure if I can upload videos more or not but I would try my best to keep at least one video per month so Okay, let's back to the topic and what we're going to do today. And since I'm just moving in, things do not in place yet. And the thing that we're going to do today, this is a metal can which is perfect for a pen holder, but it looks ugly. So our today's project is to make this look more pretty so I'm gonna make a so I'm gonna crochet a pen holder or actually like the outside of the pen holder I'm not sure what it's called so we're gonna use these three colors today you can use just one and it's really easy and I'm also gonna teach you how to customize the size so you can make it even if you have the different size of can. So any size of can can be done following this video. So let's get started. So first thing first, we have the can nearby so we can use it as, so we can measure the, measure the, the can during crochet. And I'm gonna start with gray yarn since it's darker and it's going to be you know in the bottom of the pen holder so when it get dirty you not you're not notice it much and i'm using my usual yarn is a thai ego brand you can use any acrylic yarn that available and with my usual 3.5 and i hope you can see this clearly on the videos and first we're going to start with six single crochet into a circle you can do magic ring seriously you can do magic ring if you prefer I prefer this way so I'm going to do one change like this maybe a little bit closer okay I'm going to do one change and two chain then I'm going to do six single crochet into the first chain that we created. And the seagull is... I'm not sure if you can hear, if you can hear the seagulls in the videos or not, but they're so loud. So six single crochet into the first chain. So one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet and six single crochet and then we do slip stitch on the first single crochet that we do so you put your needle through this and do a slip stitch like this and then one change to start the round and if you find that there's a hole like this you can pull the yarn a little bit to close the to close the hole or you can just leave it because it is going to be at the bottom of the can so no one will see it and for the second round we're going to do increase so it's two single crochet into each stitch I'm gonna start with the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier so we do two single crochet into the same stitch so two and one single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch one single crochet two single crochet into the same stitch and 
one single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch and repeat it until we reach the start point again and two now you should have like 12 12 stitch here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so it should be 12 stitch and then you close the round with slip stitch again on the first single crochet of the round and then one chain to start to start the next round you can do the spiral if you don't want to do this slip stitch and one chain you can work in spiral but if you're gonna do just one color it's fine to, to work in spiral but I'm gonna do I'm gonna change color here so if I do spiral you're gonna end up with like a ladder of the color changing which doesn't look pretty okay continue to the next round the third round we're gonna do one single crochet of course in the same way in the same stitch that we do slip stitch earlier one single crochet and then increase we should which is two single crochet into the same stitch so we're gonna do one and two and repeat it until we come back to here one single crochet and then two single crochet into the same stitch one two and one and this is one two into the same stitch one single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch or as the pattern said increase so we do one and then increase and oh i forgot to i forgot to look at the screen so i'm not sure if you can see or not and slip stitch to the first to the first stitch of the round slip stitch and one chain because the sun is coming from the windows i'm not sure if you can properly see this or not i'll try my best to make it visible as much as i can okay to the next round so the next round is the fourth round now we do last for the last round we do one single crochet and then increase right so this this round is going to be two sing one single crochet into the next two stitch so one two and then we do increase and repeat so we do one single crochet and two single crochet and then we increase so two single crochet into the same stitch so a single crochet into the next two one and two and then we do increase and repeating this one two and increase one two and increase one and two and increase increase and we're gonna cross the round by slip stitch at the first single crochet of the round slip stitch and one chain I think you can see a trend now so from six single crochet we do increase in every stitch and then we do one single crochet then increase and then two single crochet and increase so this round is going to be three single crochet and then increase so we do a single crochet into the next three stitch one two three and now we increase and one two three and increase one 
one, two, three, and increase. One, two, three, and increase. One, two, three, and increase. And one, two, three, and then two single crochet into the same stitch. And close the round by slip stitch. And then one change. And we're going to repeat this process, you know, one then increase, two then increase, three then increase, four, five, six, seven, until we expand our piece of work until it the same size as this can bottle bottom so and the next round is going to be four single crochet single crochet into the next four stitch and then we do increase so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and four single crochet then increase two single crochet into the same stitch and then single crochet into the next four one two three four and increase one two three four and increase one two three four and increase and one two three four and two single crochet into the same stitch which is increase and one, two, three, four, and two single crochet into the same stitch. And close the round by slip stitch here, and one single crochet. And continue until it's big enough. So next, next is gonna be five single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and then increase. One, two three four five and increase and we're repeating this until repeating this for six time yes one two three four five and increase one two, three, four, five, and increase. And one, two, three, four, five, and increase. One, two, three, four, five, and then increase. And 
and we slip stitch to close the round. And one change. And as you can see here, you can see through the stitch because I use a stitch, I use a hook that maybe slightly bigger than this yarn. I think this yarn is this yarn is quite old, so the flatten a little bit to the side. It's four ply worth weight yarn, but the size is around three plies. Like the size right now is similar to the three plies. So there. So you can see a hole here, but it's, but it's okay because it's not a doll's and you know, once you put it cover the can, you cannot see any holes happening. So now we are nearly reached the edge now. I think the next round should be enough. So the next round is gonna be six or not? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, the next round is six single crochet. Uh, single crochet into the next six stitch. So one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, five single crochet, six single crochet, and then we do increase, which is two single crochet into the same stitch. So one and two to the same stitch. And one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then increase. And break a little bit, I kind of wind the yarn from the balls. Okay, and to increase, okay, and then one single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six and then increase two single crochet into the same stitch one and two into the same stitch and then single crochet into the next six stitch one two three four five and six and increase And one, two, three, four, five, six, and increase. One, two, three, four, five. Six and increase two into the same stitch. Now we reach the end of this round and close the round by doing slip stitch on the first single crochet of the round, slip stitch, and then one chain. So let's see if okay. Mm. Hmm. Okay, there's two options here. We can go another round. So we can cover this edge a little bit before we going up. Or we can just going up right now. Yeah, I should we should so it's okay to make this bottle piece, you know, slightly, yeah, slightly smaller than the edge. So in the next, in the next round, we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch. So, and we're going to repeat that until it going up to the same height as the can. So it's okay 
here to be slightly a little bit smaller if you make it bigger bigger is more more risk like if it's too big for for the can it may look uh, it may turn into like a soggy sloppy key on the side here but if it's a little bit smaller like this the the crochet will tight around the can and it will have a smooth smooth texture okay let's see how it turned out I'm gonna stop the increasing process here so from the next round I'm gonna do just one single crochet into each stitch so one single crochet into each stitch and we're gonna, re and we're gonna repeat this just one single crochet into each stitch we're gonna make our piece go up 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 along the can until the same height as the can but today I'm gonna make it into three colors so I'm gonna do four round of one single crochet into each stitch oops just four four round okay and For four round, we're gonna do one single crochet into each stitch. So I'm gonna see you again when I finish this for four round.
and now we're getting closer to the end of this round so I'm doing uh, single crochet into each stitch for the for six round now and okay close the round by slip stitch here and one thing one chain to start the next round and here you're gonna end up with a piece that look kind of like this and you can test it if it can cover your can or not which is I suppose too that it can and yes it can and because we left you know before in the increasing process that I said we I love it a little bit slightly smaller than the can edge so this one can hold to the can pretty well and if you were fine with just you know plain plain stitch you just continue one single crochet into each stitch until you reach this height and you don't have to change color or anything but if you want to give you know a little bit of fun into your piece next for the next round I'm gonna change the color into this green and you're gonna do like green and pale green and gray and green and pale green again and maybe we can try different stitch but for beginners if you feel like this is already a lot of work you can just continue this you know one single crochet into each stitch until you reach the top so for the next stitch i'm gonna change the color so when you change the color in crochet i'm gonna okay just pull it a little bit so we're now at the last stitch of i'm not sure which round is it so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so we are in the last stitch of round 12. so instead of doing slip stitch and one one chain than usual we're gonna here this is the last stitch that we done right and i have to make sure that you see it clear i'm gonna pull this a little bit out so okay i just pull it out for the last stitch normally you do this and then you hook this through right in order to change the colors seamlessly instead of hooking this gray yarn you hook the new color you want to change instead so i'm gonna hook a green yarn inside so like like this and you crochet everything normally with the green yarn so slip stitch here and then one chain to start around now you can work all the way when you change the color it will look seamless afraid that your you know your yarn might fall apart you can just tie it make a knot here and then it's secure and you can cut it if you you can cut it but since I'm gonna go back to the gray yarn again so I'm just gonna leave it here and now we go to a green yarn So for the green yarn, I'm going to do the same again. One single crochet into each stitch, maybe uh, two round. However you want your piece to look like, I'm going to do around two round. And then we're going to change the colors again. So this is just one single crochet into each stitch. So easy, so simple. And you know what? I wish I do two uh, two strands of yarn together so I don't have to crochet this much. <laughs> or you can use a bigger yarn, you know, bigger yarn with bigger hook. You can finish your work very fast. Just one single crochet into each stitch. And I move my microphone a little bit. I'm not sure if the sound will change or not, like the volume of the sound. And we'll see that.
close the round by slip stitch one zip one change and then one single crochet into the same place that we do slip stitch earlier and one single crochet into each stitch and I'm not sure if you can see it or not but the green one is slightly bigger than the gray because it's and it full it's fill the stitch more so that we don't have much hole like this because it's a lot slightly bigger And close the round with slip stitch and one chain. Oh, no, no, no. We're not gonna close the round because we're gonna change the color. So, again, the last stitch. So, instead of hooking the same stitch to finish the stitch, we hook the new color instead. So, this time it's gonna be a pale green. Pearl green and yes you can do one single crochet into each stitch all around again and I'm gonna change thing a little bit so we can go a little bit faster so we first we're gonna change the color so we hook the new color and slip stitch with it slip stitch and one change and two change and three change so in this round I'm gonna do double crochet instead of single crochet so if you're beginners double crochet is a little bit advanced from the single crochet so we do three Three chain here. Somebody may do two. It depends on your tension. It depends on your hand tension. So for double crochet, you kind of like wrap the yarn around the hook like this and insert it into the stitch that you're gonna work to and hook the yarn back. So now so now you have three yarns on your hooks and you hook the yarn pull it to two of them and hook the yarn and pull it to another two so this is double crochet you can just do single crochet you know up 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 until you reach your height I'm gonna do double crochet here you're gonna we're gonna end up with a different patterns which I think it may 
make our pen holder look a little bit pretty and it's also faster so we're gonna do double crochet one double crochet into each stitch so you wrap the yarn like this insert it to the stitch you have three right now and you hook it past two of them and past two of them and repeat this and double crochet is quite tricky when you are when if it's your first time doing it you may end up with uneven uneven double crochet you know and I think it's a good stitch for practice your tension you know and make your hand like equally crochet try to make sure that it's equal it equal you know it's in the same high some when I first start doing double crochet, it looked like a whip because my hand is not steady enough. So we can do one double crochet into each stitch. And yes, I'll say it again, you can do single crochet if you wish. Or maybe triple or any any stitch, you know, that's going up. Or if you're advanced crochet you know if, if you want to go advanced you can add more texture you know make it look like a basket or make it look like a cross a cross patterns which we're not going to do that today but if you like to see you can comment it down below i can i may make it because i still got a lot of pen holder a lot of can to cover This is just double crochet. And you can see now, they have a slightly different pattern than single crochet. Single crochet is like a little cross, while uh, double crochet is like, you know, a short pole or something like that. And you continue. One double crochet into each stitch and every time you work make sure you wind your yarn to be ready because this may interrupt your like this double crochet into each stitch and if you feel that the wheel is too fast you know you can adjust the play speed in the setting if you open it on mobile phone it's gonna say a play speed and choose zero point something for a slower but if you open it on pc or desktop computer you go to the gear picture the the setting and click on the speed and you also got a choice of speed that you want and yes if you feel that this is too slow for you you can just make it faster double crochet Okay, I'm going to do another round. 
two and three so it's slip stitch and then three change instead of one and double crochet So ideally, like, you know, I, the ideal hooks for double crochet is usually smaller when with the same yarn. When you do double crochet, it's usually smaller than single crochet. Because as you can see, you can end up with quite a big hole if you use a big crochet hook. But this one is okay since it's just a pen holder, you know. But if you want to make a scarf, I think 3.0 or for this yarn, okay, for this yarn, like 0 0.5 smaller should be okay. Or maybe just one millimeter smaller also should be okay. And getting close now. And the last stitch for this round and then also the same with single crochet before we hook the last one if you want to change the color so instead of hooking the same yarn we hook the new color that we that we want to use that we want to use and which is this green and we hook it up make sure that this one is a little bit tight so you so we don't have a loose yarn happening here and slip stitch on the first the first double crochet that we do not on the three change on the first double crochet slip stitch and one chain here okay I'm gonna try this on a can first let's see how far we go right now pretty good tight and yeah this look pretty good I think okay I'm I'm gonna do another round of a pale green double crochet it should be around here and gonna do two uh, two single crochet two round for this leafy green it should be around here and then I can do all gray up here yes 
just that so for this round instead of changing color i'm going to continue with the pale green so back to the pale green which which yarn when you leave you know all the yarn here is maybe tangled sometime have to be careful with that and okay finish the double crochet slip stitch on the first double crochet of the la of that round and one one two and three chain let me deal with this yarn first okay and another round of double crochet into each stitch And what do you think of this nature light setting? You know, if it because the sun is coming from this way, I'm I'm really not sure if you can see it clearly on this side or not. But I have one of the LED like small LED lamp here to shine the light here. But I'm really not sure if it can see, be clearly see on the screen or not. I'll see it when I'm doing the edit but right now I'm really not sure so if you think this is too dark or you want it to be brighter or you think this is okay comment it down below so I can know your opinions So we don't close the round with the same color. We're gonna before the last stitch of double crochet, we're gonna hook this green in state. So we hook the green yarn here and close the round with slip stitch and one single crochet. And we're not gonna use this color anymore so let's cut it out so cut this one out oh 
okay and if you're afraid that this will fall apart and again just tie it to you know another yarn just make a knot on it and you will be safe with it actually you don't have to do this because the way that the the way that crochet tie to each other if you didn't pull it you know in in the in the way in this way but in another way it's not gonna fall apart I hope that is not sound confusing okay and for this round I'm gonna do one single crochet into each stitch for two rounds so it's gonna look the same as this two so let's go just one single crochet into each stitch Oops, so after we finish with two rounds, so 
I'm gonna change the color to gray. So for the last single crochet, we're gonna hook the gray yarn in like this and pull the green a little bit tight so it's not okay and slip stitch to close the round slip stitch and one chain so at the point at this point we're not going to use the green anymore so cut it off Okay, after we finish changing the color, next we're gonna do one single crochet into each stitch again until we reach the high, which I think maybe two. Let's try it. I think. I think three, so three rounds should be fine. Should be able to cover this, right? Three or four. So we're gonna do three uh, single crochet into each stitch for the next three round and see if it's enough or not. So let's go.
the last stitch and slip stitch one change to secure it for a little bit and let's see if it's enough for our can or not Oops. so we put it in Okay, I'm gonna do one more round so we can cover this edge. Yeah, one more round. And we should be able to finish this. So one more round of one single crochet into each stitch. This taking it took it took a uh, how to say that <laughs> it take more time than I think it would be at first I think this video is gonna be like you know half an hour but now it's already an hour And you can make it faster, like I say in the beginnings, use a bigger yarn and a bigger hook. And if you don't have a bigger yarn, you can you can just use you can uh, you can just crochet two strands together. It also result as a bigger yarn, which is a lot faster. And you will end up with a piece of work that. A little bit thicker. And just one round. No. And slip stitch to close the round and cut the yarn, love it a little bit, two inch or three inch, cut the yarn and fasten off. Now I like to, can you see it? I like to put the end through here so we end up with quite a seamless here and for the tail just put it in there just put it in there and where's the can and cover it with our crochet piece With tight, okay, and let's do some glue up here so it's a little bit hard to pull it up. And now we're done, our pen holder is done. Simple, easy. It would be fast if you use a bigger yarn or smaller can. And should I add something to him? Like a little ear? I 
okay just love it here I still got two more can to cover so I may I may make another videos with different patterns or different ideas or may not if I'm too lazy for that and I also got so this one is a tutorial okay let's conclude everything so this is a very easy simple and simple project and you can adjust because the can is straight up so it's easy to do this part and the only problems for a beginner is the bottom so as I can say we, we start with six single crochet and then we increase then one single crochet then increase two single crochet then increase three four five six go as much as your can bottle go so when you reach the size of the bottle of the can maybe slightly slightly smaller is okay but try to not be too much bigger if it's too bigger it's not gonna hang on the can like this and once you reach the size you just go once you go crochet into each stitch just go up 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 it would go up until the size and to the high of the can you know you can go as high as you want or you can go more than the high of the can if you prefer and you and you will end up with a simple looking good uh, can cover which you can use it for a pen holder like i do or you can use it for makeup brush a makeup brush or artist brush or anything that you want to put into the can and you can make you can change color here to make some you know graphic happening or you can change the stitch like i do here to a uh, double crochet you know once you go up here and you feel like single crochet is consume too much time you can just change it to double crochet and up double crochet all up to here and you get with the same pattern or you can use you can do it like me you know with different stitch and create a different patterns here different graphic patterns and i hope you're enjoying the videos and don't forget oops don't forget to give a like if you like the videos and comment it down below if you have any things you want to say and um, enjoy reading the comments and if you if you could please share the videos you know share it to your friends share it to your families and i'll see you next time in the next videos which i will try my best to post it as often as i can since i only have a weekend to record and edit this and yes, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great, hope you have a great day and see you again in the next videos. Bye bye.